It's been two years since the Bentham Grid went online in New York City. It was a technological marvel. The grid takes all those things unique to you, your social security number, your passport, your debit and credit accounts, and links them to one thing, your DNA. With just a touch, the grid collects a tiny sample of your genetic material, IDing you instantly. Greg Bruce. Then a purchase can be deducted directly from your personal accounts, or you can unlock and start your car. Sid Batista. And it all works within a margin of error of 0.001%. The ultimate social network. No cash has to change hands. No ID cards have to be shown. No keys have to be carried. Saki Kashua. Today, you can't do anything in New York City without the grid knowing who you are and where you are. Julia Richards. After just six months in service, the state legislature passed an unprecedented bill giving law enforcement complete access to the grid's data. As a result, there hasn't been a reported case of identity theft in over 18 months. NYPD case clearances have soared above 90%, and fugitives have been found and captured in record numbers. Thank you for using the grid. Mayor Reed, I think the question everyone here is asking is, is the right to privacy effectively dead in New York City? The crime rate in this city is now lower than that of Cheyenne, Wyoming. I think anyone, including my fellow law-abiding New Yorkers, would happily sacrifice a little bit of privacy for that kind of personal safety. Many hailed the launch of the Bentham Grid as the funeral for American crime. But it was the day that something else began. Detected. Target just got picked up on 8th Avenue. Alana Winston. Looks like she's a reporter. Send in Foucault. Have a nice day, Mr. Foucault. We are still without answers as to what caused a small plane to crash in Austin, in New York, just two days ago. Over the last 48 hours, search I'm on mobile, in pursuit. Don't get into another foot chase, Foucault. Just walk up behind her, hit her with the decap, and bring her in. Winston, I'm Inspector Foucault. You're gonna have to come with me. Shit. Here we go. Alana. Activate every grid node we can get in that area. Declared and undeclared. That's currency, trains, doors, anything we can get our hands on. Box her in and shut her down. Grid locked down. Out the way! Target identified. Move! Shit, she's fast. Stay on her. Come on, people, let's go. Headed south on Broadway. 
Introducing the new iHollow. With new groundbreaking hollow stream technology. It's a razor sharp 3D hologram. Pollard, I lost her. I need some help. You gotta get me back up. Send me whatever you got. She's dodging all the grid points. I don't have her either. But I'll bet you lunch she's trying to get lost in the park. Scanning grid. I think I got her, sir. We got her. She's entering the park in 30 seconds. Nice and easy. Don't let her in the park. Target locked. I got her. Miss Winston? You can't beat the grids. Sir, she's down. Been with these two lovely ladies for over an hour now. All the standard questions have yielded exactly diddly piss. And the bio scans didn't tell me anything. I don't clear differentiating aging characteristics. There are no free radicals. Skin elasticity calculations are inconclusive. Almost like they're the same person. Isn't it the one who ran? They both ran. My name's Inspector Foucault. I'm gonna ask you a few questions. I've already answered all their questions. It's really important that you answer them honestly and with no cognitive stress. I don't want you to think about the answer. Just respond with whatever pops into your head. Begin interview. How old are you, Alana? Your mother never told you it was rude to ask a lady her age? Just answer the question, please. Fine. I'm 28. I'm 28. You'll be 29 soon. Unfortunately, that's what comes after 28. You're married. No. Engaged. Our records say you're married. Well, your records must be wrong because I'm not married. Not yet, at least. When's the wedding? Three weeks. weeks. Cognitive stress levels are slightly elevated. Simul. Let me sync up these profiles. Pay attention to the way they answer the questions. One gives a specific date. The other gives a point of reference based on her current timeline. We ask reference-based time questions. The cognitive stress levels rise on the one who really has to think about it. Then eventually, the one who doesn't belong here will screw up, because she can't get the math right. When did the Bentham grid go online? Almost two years ago, January 2021. Am I here because of my civil rights piece? Is that a serious question? When did the UN move its headquarters to Geneva? December, about a year ago, 2022. What the hell is this pop quiz all about? Small aircraft crash in Asening. Do you remember when that happened? That happened two days ago. I remember it happening. It's been on every broadband feed in the city. I know it was recent, I just can't remember the exact date. Warning, cognitive stress levels high. 
A plane crash happened two days ago. It's really strange that you'd have trouble remembering that. She doesn't remember? She'd remember it if she were supposed to be here. You got her, Foucault. Omega's our plurality. You don't belong here, do you, Alana? I want an attorney. The Alana Winston that belongs in 2023 is actually sitting in the next room. She's about to be released with an apology for the misunderstanding that took place here today. The Alana Winston that I'm looking at, however, doesn't exist. At least not yet. So tell me, what would a person who doesn't even exist need with an attorney? Fuck you. Why did you come back? You haven't seen what I've seen. We have to stop the grid. When does time travel become possible? You've replaced freedom with the illusion of safety. But we're not safe, Foucault. Neither are you. We'll keep coming back. You can't possibly stop us all. Well, I hope they're better than you. This afternoon, they'll pack you off to our detention area on Ellis Island. Enjoy your stay with us, Alana. Plurality confirmed. Alana Winston was the 19th plurality to be identified and captured by the Immigration Special Investigations Unit. These pluralities brought us questions rather than answers. None of them had a criminal record before we detained them. They were educated, employed. See you around, Simmel. We would ask, but they would give us nothing. But the next plurality would change everything. Warning. Plurality detected. Jacob Foucault. Target locked. Sending all available agents. <laughs>